It is never recommended that one drives a car while under the influence of alcohol or other controlled substances. Many tragedies can occur due to impaired judgment and other effects of being under the influence. In fact, it is illegal in most places in the world to operate under the influence. However, sometimes there is only so much that police and other law enforcement entities can do to prevent individuals from doing just that. One such instance of a tragedy involving a driver that was under the influence was a case that occurred in the United Kingdom, known as the Gavin Collins Incident. The man had struggled with mental health and drug issues his entire life, leading up to the instance he is infamous for. The incident went viral after the Nottinghamshire police uploaded the dashcam footage to their YouTube channel and Collins was jailed. What people didn't know about the incident was that it was so much more sinister than what meant the eyes and the casualty that occurred due to this man's rage. I want to preface this by mentioning that it is really hard to find information on Gavin Collins' early life. The most I could find was his birth date, so please uh, forgive me for that. <laughs> Gavin Collins was born in 1981 to unknown parents in an unknown city. Not very much is known about his early life other than him allegedly suffering from various mental health issues. Gavin also has a history of drug use and drug abuse. He has also been in and out of jail. The instance we're discussing today is the vehicle theft spree and rampage he went on in the morning of Good Friday 2019 and what led up to this incident. During a jail sentence for some burglary-related charges, Gavin was slated for an early release from prison. His original release was supposed to be on July 20th, 2019. The early release would take place on March 8th. However, he cheated his drug test and this release was delayed. Gavin didn't like this very much and assaulted a corrections officer by spraying bleach at them. He also set fire to his jail cell. While the correctional officers attempted to put it out, Gavin assaulted one of them by hitting them with a chunk of wood. Gavin was placed into solitary confinement as a result of this incident. On April 4th, he set yet another fire in his cell. A corrections officer entered the cell and Gavin lunged at this officer with a plastic knife, threatening to end him. He ranted about how he wanted to end one of the correctional officers and how it would be a quote-unquote pleasure. Despite all of the incidents described, Gavin Collins was released from jail on April 18th of 2019. On the morning of April 19th, 2019, Gavin Collins broke into one of his neighbor's houses and stole the keys to this individual's car. The vehicle in question was a 2014 Dacia Sandero Stepway hatchback. He took off and drove away at speed, heading towards Skegby. The vehicle in question had a dash cam and showed how truly delusional Collins is during the rampage. He shouts about how he was Jesus and how he is the descendant of God. The video continues with Gavin rambling on about his delusional beliefs and driving at speed until he eventually violently crashes into what appears to be a wall of sorts. Come on, let's go, bro. Let's go. Are you taught me to drive? Watch me go now. Hey. Hey, please. Don't go. Oh, you're helping me! Good! Keep it going! Cause it's Good Friday! And you know what? You f talk getting rid of all the coppers! Let's go! Let's go! I'm enraged! I'm Jesus! I'm descendant of God! And you lock me up! Watch this! You f You think I'm strong? Wait until you f me my s of him because ultimately he'll give her an ultimatum either listen to Gavin one or I you're gonna go to hell and he'll disown you and so will I but it's their grandmas the right ones how it's meant to be watch this watch me go you watch this now I'm getting stronger and stronger by the second
After Collins crashes the first car he stole, he threatens a person in the area and attempts to steal this man's car. During the hearing, Collins is quoted as saying, Do you believe in Jesus? Because I am Jesus and I will end you if you don't give me the keys. During the altercation, a woman driving an Opal Corsa approaches the scene and tries to help this poor man. Gavin, seeing the car, gets inside and drives away. Gavin drove this vehicle towards Mansfield Woodhouse, where he crashed the car on Worcester Avenue. He got out of the vehicle and looked for another one to continue his rampage with. After spotting one parked in a driveway, he approaches a house and smears a cross in bodily fluid from an injury he sustained on the window of the home. Soon enough, he broke into this house using a brick and approached the residence. The resident inside was a woman who had young children. Gavin drew crosses on their heads and threatened to end the family if he didn't get the keys for the car. He got in the vehicle and drove off. This rampage hadn't seen any casualties until this point. 87-year-old Terry Radford was taking a walk that day. Gavin was now behind the wheel of a seat Leon and reversing at speed in the direction of Terry. The result was Terry being ended instantly due to being hit by the vehicle and pushed into a bus stop shelter. Gavin drove off, yelling that he had ended the devil, fully aware of what he had done. He rammed into a police car and tried to drive off. He was eventually trapped by police after crashing in a backyard and was subsequently removed from the vehicle. Body cam footage from the officers showed that Gavin was attempting to light a cigarette after the crash. This way. Oh, get him out. I'll get him out. Oh, no! Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Do not move! Do not move! Get him out! Get him out! Gavin Collins had a court hearing and was subsequently given a life sentence with a sentence minimum of 14 years for diminished responsibility manslaughter. This was truly a wild case and one I'm sure you guys didn't know the full story of. I appreciate all of you tuning into my channel and watching my videos. Thanks so much, and please stay tuned for more videos about random things. I appreciate you liking and subscribing. It means a lot, and it helps me get into the algorithm. I appreciate you guys. Peace.